day one of conducting your research for your Explorers research project. So I'm going to go ahead and model for you. Uh, let me say that again, model for you, meaning I'm going to show you with an example of what our expectations are for this project. So that way you guys can be as successful as possible. Um, please, please, please watch every second of this video because I'm going to be giving you important information um, as to what our expectations are. Um, so let's go ahead and let's just jump right in. So for your front page, this is where you are going to take the time to introduce yourself very briefly, as well as your explore, the, um, you're introducing the topic of your research. And so you're just going to go ahead, you're going to click on this box, and you are just going to type in the name of your explorers. I'm just going to say Mary Weather Lewis and William Clark. And then I'm going to go ahead and type my name down below. And so this is going to be very, very simple. You have already selected your explorer, so you should already know who they are. Um, if you're not sure about spelling, you think you might have it right, you can always go back to the Google form to look at the names. Or you can go ahead, you can open up another tab and try typing your explorer's name um, based off of what you can remember. Or if you need, again, help, you can reach out to Miss Walsh or Miss Lopez. But if you try and spell it, so if I'm like, uh, Lou is and, oh, there we go. It says Lewis and Clark. And oh my goodness, and now I know Lewis is spelled with an E, not a U. Um, so you can always use that as a tool as well. Um, so really quickly, I'm sure you might be looking at this page and you're like, oh my goodness, this is so boring. It's white background with black writing. We can change that. And so I need you to watch very carefully because I'm going to model, again model, show you what um, would be acceptable and what would not be acceptable. So keep that in mind. So I don't like this font. I think it's kind of boring. If you like it, that is wonderful. But for me personally, I don't like it that much. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to find a font that I like. I'm going to keep in mind that I pick a writing or a font rather that will be easy to read. If I pick a font that is kind of... Um, difficult to read my reader isn't gonna want to read it and that would be really frustrating knowing that you work so hard and so I see this one okay this one's pretty cute and that one's easy to read but I think I could find another one Ooh, let's check this one that one looks pretty okay well mm, I'm not really great at reading cursive so I'm not going to do that one right third Writing in cursive is really a third grade skill. Some of you might have done it in second grade, but if I know that I haven't really practiced cursive, I'm probably not going to pick cursive because then I won't be able to catch my mistakes. And so I'm going to keep scrolling until I find one that I like. Let's see. Let's try this one. Oh, I like that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that one. And then I'll go ahead and I'll change the font for this guy up here. And I think it's kind of fun if I can, you know, switch it up so they're not all matching. And I'll go ahead. Oh, yep. I like that. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the background color of my slide. So right now it is white and I want my writing to pop out. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select background. Then you're going to see there's this option where it says color. Go ahead and select this drop down window and you can pick from this entire set of colors that they have provided you here. Um, and so I think a really fun bright color might be nice. So I really like that orange. So I'm going to go ahead and do that orange because I think it's going to catch my reader's attention. Um, but if you want to go ahead and do a different color, that's totally fine. Now, I'm going to give you a big scholarly tip here. So hang with me. I say I love, 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 love purple and I see this dark purple color. Well, what I need to do is if I select this dark purple color, I can see that now my writing is really dark and it's hard to read. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight and I'm going to select this option here where it says text color. I am going to select white. And now you can see that it sticks out really well and it kind of just jumps out at the reader and so it won't be really hard for our brains to process that information. Um, so just keep that in mind if you are doing a dark color. Please only keep your fonts in black or white writing. If it is in a different color, it might be really difficult for your reader to read. So keep that in mind. Now going on to slide two. You can see this is your biographical information. You want to keep this header because it's again going to tell your reader um, what exactly you're talking about. So for this one, all you would have to worry about is changing the font if you would like to. Then you're going to see you are going to answer these questions. It says, when was your explorer born? Where did slash does your explorer live? and share additional interesting facts about your explorer's life here. And so you are going to go ahead, you are going to open up another tab, and you are going to practice your research skills that we have already kind of practiced together. Um, you did a whole practice job on it with um, some questions about explorers earlier um, into our unit. And so you're going to go ahead, you are going to now research. So when was your explorer born? And so again, I'm going to model really quickly what that should look like. And so I have Lewis and Clark. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to type Lewis and Clark when were oops, they born? And I'm going to say third grade to make sure it is appropriate for my level. And I see right here I have Ducksters. Ducksters is a really, really great website um, for you guys to use for research. And so I definitely recommend if you have Ducksters as an option, check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and click it and I'm going to scroll down and I can see, oh my goodness, look how nice and easy this is to read. It tells me all the information. It's organized by titles. And so I can see right here it says born. And so what I would do is I would take this information and I would make a complete sentence out of it. So I would go back to this slide here and it says, when was your explorer born? I would say Meriwether Lewis was born in, on August 18th, 1774. And then I would go back and I would then say William Clark was born August 1st, 1770 and so on. Then I would talk about where my explorer lived or where my explorer currently lives depending on if you have a modern day explorer or not. And then I would share additional interesting facts about my explorer. So if I go back here I can see oh well they do 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 oh here who were Lewis and Clark? Well Meriwether Lewis he was a captain and he was a the private secretary to the um, president at the time, Thomas Jefferson, um, and he was in charge of the expedition. Oh, down here it's talking about William Clark and how he served in the army preparing for the expedition. He was hiring and training men. Um, and so this is really good information for me. And I can go ahead and I can paraphrase. Remember that term we talked about, meaning you do not take the information and write it exactly, making it your own. Um, we know that that is not allowed. That is called plagiarism. And you can get in very, very big trouble with plagiarism. So make sure that you do not copy um, the information exactly. You use your own words to give me the information. And so now I'm going to go ahead. Okay. Again, you can change the color of the background. And then you're going to see this option where it says insert a picture of your explorer here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use my tool that I'm provided in slides. Insert image. Search the web. And I'm going to say Lewis and Clark. Explore and ooh, I can see that there's a couple of pictures. It's even giving me some maps, but I want to have um, a picture of the two of them on there. And so I'm going to find one, okay? 
And I'm going to wait for it to pop up. And when I'm looking at the pictures that are provided to me on Google um, through the slides, I'm going to make sure I'm using my life skill of common sense when making um, decisions. So I can see already right here, this isn't really a picture of Lewis and Clark. While well, it's a really cool mosaic or picture um, with tiles, I don't think that really applies. I'm looking for a genuine picture of them. So I'm going to go back, image, search the web. And maybe I'll just try Lewis and Clark and see if I get some better options. And I'm going to use again my life skill of common sense. It would not make sense to use this picture of a flower because I'm being asked to uh, find a picture of my explorer. And okay, I see this one right here. It has both William Clark and Meriwether Lewis. And oh my goodness, that is a giant picture. So I need to make it way smaller. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert it as I was directed. And if you this box is in the way, you can always just go ahead, select it, and delete it. And it will disappear. Um, and then again, I want to change the background. Uh, maybe I want to switch it up. That's totally fine. Ooh, and I really like how it went from orange to blue. I think that really sticks out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I'm going to move on to my next section. You can see right here, it says timeline of exploration. Again, we want to keep this. So if I want to change the font, I'll just go ahead and I'll change the font really quickly. Oh, I like that one. Um, and then now I'm going to go ahead. When did your explorer go on their great expedition or voyage? So I'm going to open another tab. I'm going to type in my explorer's name, Lewis and Clark, and I'm going to say timeline of expedition, and I'm going to say third grade because, again, I want to make sure it's appropriate for my level. And so I'm going to scroll, scroll down. Oh, we can see right here my first um, website I'm given. It's a .org, and remember we talked about .org dot orgs are biased sources meaning um, there's a lot of opinions that can be found on some sites like this and so we don't want that we want credible information and that's going to come from um, credible sources like right here we have history.com history um, is a, a new not a news channel but um, it is a resource in which um, we've gotten a lot of factual information from. And so if I go ahead and I scroll down, I can see right here it says Lewis and Clark. Oops. Lewis and Clark, a timeline of the extraordinary expedition. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and I can see already right here in the caption it says in 1804 Lewis and Clark set off on a journey filled with harrowing confrontations, harsh weather, and fatal decisions as they scouted a route, a, cr a route rather, across the American West. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for information. Below is a timeline of Lewis and Clark's extraordinary expedition. Awesome. And oh my goodness, I really like how this is set up because it's giving me not only the subheading, Lewis and Clark's journey begins, but they're also giving me the date so I know when exactly they started. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I would keep scrolling until I um, found when they ended. And so I would go ahead and I would take this information and I would take transfer it now onto my slide. And so I'm going to go ahead, May 14th, 1804. I would just erase Lewis and Clark set off on their adventure on May 8th. Let me make sure that is correct. And I just did not... Uh, let me make sure. May 14th, 1804. I knew there was something wrong with what I'd written. So Lewis and Clark set off on their venture on May 14th, 1804. And so again, I paraphrase the information. I did not copy exactly Don't what they the said. Um, the and so just keep that in mind. And, and I apologize for sheep. that ad. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and now we are going to insert a picture related to our explorer. And so again, I'm going to show an expectation of that. What I mean by related is it involves your explorer somehow. It doesn't have to be just a set picture of Lewis and Clark like we I asked for on that first slide. It can be something else. 
And so I see these maps right here. And while I think those are so, so, so cool, um, I also know that I'm going to be asked about the route later. Um, and so I don't want that one yet. And so I'm going to go ahead. I can see... I think I really like this one. It looks like they're rowing down the river. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to select that one. And you can see that they're being approached by Native Americans. And again, I want to delete this box in the background. And I can go ahead now. I can select a background. And remember, you can choose a different one or you can choose... Um, the same colors for each slide. I think yellow would be nice and bright. Um, and yeah, and so this is going to be our expectations for day one of your research project. If you have any questions, please let your teachers know so we can help you. Otherwise, I hope you have fun um, learning more about your Explorer and we can't wait to read um, all your research.